This video demonstrates remote data acquisition and control using CASP. We will acquire a single ADC input and control single digital output over serial and LAN communication interfaces. ESP32S is used for current demonstration, however any suitable microcontroller board supported by CASP can be used. As you can see, a light depending resistor with suitable bias resistor is connected to the ADC pin at GPIO 36 of ESP32, such that when the light intensity on the LDR increases, the voltage at the ADC pin also increases. First, we will create a model that runs on the target microcontroller. Later we will create second model that runs on the native target to plot the acquired data from the microcontroller. Ensure, ESP32 board support package is installed before creating the model. Refer to our getting started video that shows how to install board support package. Select the ESP32 target and select the programmer port where the target is connected to the host PC. Select suitable simulation parameters. We start by creating a model to blink on board LED as a heartbeat indicator. You can see that the onboard LED starts blinking at the specified frequency. Now let's create the model for acquiring an analog value and controlling a digital output through serial port. For this we may require blocks such as serial block, data source block, target hardware I.O. block and some data routing blocks. Connect the blocks as shown in the video. Configure the target hardware I.O. block for ADC input at GPIO 36, where we have connected the LDR. Create an OR logic where the onboard LED is controlled by pulse generator as well as from serial data. Configure the serial block to send and receive 16 bytes of data stream. Configure other blocks connected to the serial block accordingly. Configure the tap-in block to copy the ADC data of type integer 32 to first 4 bytes of send data stream. Similarly, configure the tap-out block to extract first 4 bytes from the received data stream as integer 32 that is fed to an OR gate. Program the board with the updated model. Let's check whether the target board is communicating properly or not. On the native side, choose COM9, where the target board is connected. On the device side, choose baud rate, end point name and send receive data sizes in multiples of 4 bytes. Click on connect button to establish communication with the target board. After connecting to the board, enable control for user data output 0. Click on line data checkbox, to get online data at the best possible cycle times. As you can see, the LDR data at user data input 0 is varying as we vary the intensity of light falling on the LDR. Also, on setting the user data output value as 1, the onboard LED is constantly on. This is because of the OR logic between pulse generator and serial port to boot data to control the onboard LED. Now, we will create the second model that runs on native target. 
In this model, we will try to communicate with ESP32 board that we have programmed through our first model. And provide suitable user interface to plot the LDR data and control the onboard LED. Simulation time step should be above the communication cycle time of the target hardware. This is required for running the native simulation in real time. Configure the simulation panel to display a plotter display subwindow and a switch control subwindow. Configure simulation IO to communicate with the ESP32 target hardware as done in our previous model. Save the configuration before closing the window. Configure the GPIO block that is connected to plotter block to map to the user data input 0 IO type of endpoint 0 we have just created in the simulation IO window. The user data input 0 is further mapped to ADC input pin of ESP32. Configure this GPIO block to map to the user data output 0 IO type of endpoint 0. The user data output 0 is further mapped to digital output of ESP32. Click on Run button to build and run the simulation. Adjust the plot samples to reduce total time scale of the plot. As you can see, the simulation is running in real time. The plotter trend graph resembles the light intensity falling on the light depending resistor. Now we will try to communicate through ESP32 Wi-Fi module instead of serial communication. For this, we have to modify the target model to use Wi-Fi 101 block in place of serial block. Configure the Wi-Fi block parameters to connect to local Wi-Fi router. Configure the router SSID, password, gateway address, local IP address and local port number settings accordingly. Wi-Fi router shall also be configured to assign this local IP address to ESP32 connected to the router. UDP protocol is used for current demonstration, however TCP can also be used. Click Run button to program the board with current model. The board responds to the ping request. Now let's connect to the board from CASP. Configure the local and device IP addresses and other settings accordingly. Set the endpoint name to EP1. Connect to the board and check its operation as done during serial communication. Now, let's switch to the native model. And configure simulation IO panel similar to what we have done in target model.
Modify the GPIO blocks hardware parameters to connect to endpoint EP1. Disable serial port COM9 in simulation IO as it is not used. Click on run button to simulate the model. As you can see the simulation is running in real time. The plotter trend graph varies with light intensity falling on the light depending resistor. And the switch control, controls the onboard LED of the target board. Thank you for watching this video.